Okay, so that's enough um, self-congratulation. Uh, what we want to do now is actually focus on the charities because the reason we raised the money was to, um, to give it away to uh, some causes that we think will um, really benefit from it. Uh, so the first one, um, as I said, Burma Children's Fund can't be here today. So the first one, um, Edith's home. Now we were going to have a special guest from Uganda who was actually due to be in the UK um, to this weekend and was going to come and uh, accept the cheque um, on behalf of them. But unfortunately, because of visa issues, uh, she hasn't been able to come. So uh, Pam is going to come and collect it on their behalf and tell us a bit about um, the work of Edith's home. Now the total on the cheque is going to go up because our total has just been going through the roof even in the last 24 hours. And I had to at some point uh, write some words on these. So um, <laughs> Pam, do you want to come up? <coughs> So at the moment we've, we're splitting the money so it goes a third to um, Edith's Home, a third to uh, Burma Children's Fund and then uh, a third to our charities in Cardiff which is divided in the middle. So at the moment we've got a cheque for Edith's Home for £3,190. So um, Pam, can you just tell us a bit about what Edith's Home does and how this money can make a difference? massive thank you totally blown away by by the total that we've got and i was there um last weekend watching you guys running and as somebody who is absolutely not a runner big respect um it was really great to see so many people there and just just a, a huge thank you from everybody at edith's home for um, for choosing us as one of your charities um, to start off with and for just such a great effort to raise such a brilliant total thank you very much so I've got some slides, so I'm hoping this is going to work. Yep. Okay, so first of all, um, just to introduce myself, my name's Pam. I've been coming to Woody's for about the last year now. Um, and I've been involved with Edith's Home since about 2005, um, when the project first began. Um, I, um, um, sorry. Um, and so it's really exciting to be here today just to thank you properly and uh, to just share a little bit about what we, what we do at Edith's Home. So I'll be brief, but Edith's Home was uh, set up in a small community in Uganda in 2005, as I've said, in response to a need that myself and some others who've been on short-term short mission there saw in the community there. Basically, it's, the community is a very rural, very poor with a large proportion of children who've lost both their parents to HIV and AIDS, poverty and the LRA um, war in the northern part of Uganda. Um, so in response to that, um, we set up the project, which was inspired by one lady who is in that picture there, the lady who's laughing. Her name's Edith. Um, she's a lady who hasn't had any children of her own, but brought up um, several orphan children. Um, and we just uh, had a relationship with her and she really was the one who inspired us to think about whether God could help us start a project in that area. So um, that's just the vision behind Edith's Home, really. Okay, so uh, what does Edith's Home do and where is your money going? Well, basically, we, um, the project does three different things. Initially, we first started by um, providing um, a goat to some primary school children and that gradually extended itself into supporting those primary school children through their secondary education. So we've currently got a sponsorship scheme whereby people in the UK sponsor um, children and young adults through their secondary education and now through their higher education as well. We do have some children, that, well some young adults that are at university. So this um, slide is just a picture of, of those young people. Um, we send teams out once a year to do a retreat, so this is um, a group of them on a day away and um, all, these, all these young people have lost both their parents and obviously wouldn't have access to education normally. So that was the first thing that we started doing. But over the years, the, well, God really blessed the project financially um, and with staff over in Uganda, so we were um, in a great position to be able to extend what we do. 
Um, so in 2006 we began work building a vocational centre and one of the first things we did was start a sewing class um, for young people who weren't able to go to secondary school but wanted to learn a skill basically to be able to provide an income for themselves and for their families. So the first thing we started was a small sewing class and then within a couple of years that had extended um, to basically having a whole vocational centre and we now run three, three courses from there so we've got the sewing and tailoring class, we've got bricklaying and we've got carpentry as well and I'm not exactly sure on the figures but I know there's around 100 pupils there at the moment and obviously we've had sort of uh, years of pupils that have gone through that previously. And lastly, our newest project, uh, we've been in a, a great position this year to have started a project which supports child-headed families. So that's families where um, the, basically the whole family unit is headed up by somebody who is already a child. So there's no parents, there's no extended family. These families are in dire need and may just have one hut for a large group of children. So um, basically what we do is we, we try to support those families through a one-off grant, maybe to use to fix the hut roof or uh, for whatever need they perceive as their most urgent. And then we also try and support them um, in sort of advice and grants to start income generation um, income generating projects or small businesses to help support their families as well. So that's just started this year, which means we've had to extend our staff in Uganda. Um, we've employed a social worker to oversee um, that project as well. So it's really exciting um, because we're able to reach so many more families within that community. It wouldn't be an um, Edith's Home presentation without uh, the legend you Mike and Nikki Hobbs who have been uh, part of the uh, church here for um, way longer than me and were really pivotal in setting up the vocational centre actually back in 2008 I think it was. They went and lived out in Uganda, they lived as Ugandans live um, for one year um, and really gave up a lot, well gave up their jobs here for the year to, to really focus on pushing the project forward. Um, so they're part of the small team of us here in Cardiff that sort of head, head up in this home um, and we wouldn't be able to really do it without them. So just to let you know that they're, they're here as well. And just I wanted to put the picture up there. <laughs> <laughs> so finally, I just want to say a massive thank you. Um, this money will be well spent. We don't have any paid administration here in the UK. Basically, the, the project is run with a small group of us doing what we can with the time we've got. Um, we've got a staff of around 10 <coughs> Ugandans in Uganda, so I mean, basically this money will be going straight there. Um, so thank you so much again, we really appreciate your support and just uh, ask that you would you know, keep us in mind and if anybody uh, has any questions to ask about the project, if anybody's interested in going to Uganda again, please do get in touch because um, we would really appreciate your support. Thank you very much. Thank you.